Oh, are my feet bothering you? What? You don't like feet? Come on, lick it. Lick it. You don't have a foot fetish? Well, I don't blame you. Do you ever look down at your feet and you're just grossed out by them? Or do you have a spouse that has really gross feet, like the nails are all gnarly, maybe their foot's kind of blue, and uh, no matter how much tenactin they've sprayed on it, they can't get rid of that foot fungus? Well, if so, this video is for you. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Foot fungus is unsightly. It can also be smelly and itchy. And so it's no wonder that people suffering with foot fungus want to get rid of it and may run to a CVS or a Walgreens and grab some tough actin tenactin to spray on their toes. Have you ever done that and it hasn't killed the fungus? Or do you have fungus on one foot but not the other and the fungus on the, on the one foot won't go away with the tenactin or, or any sort of nice statin or cream or anything you put on it? Well, if this is you, then your foot fungus probably isn't foot fungus. It just looks like it. Or, or it's foot fungus, but the cause is beyond the fungus. What do I mean by that? Well, you can have that foot fungus presentation be driven by multiple things. One could be a circulatory issue. If you have poor circulation, especially if you're someone that only has it in one foot, then the chances are likely that that leg, there's faulty circulation in that leg, probably venous insufficiency, meaning the valves that are one-way valves that open to let blood flow up and then close so it doesn't reflux back down, you may have faulty valves so that the, the blood can't be moved up elevator by elevator like that. So it refluxes back down there. and that blood isn't circulated, so it's, it's locally maybe anaerobic. There may be uh, blood pooling in the foot that has sugar in it that the fungus like to eat. Um, if you have additional systemic blood sugar issues on top of venous insufficiency, that compounds it. So what we wanna do is think outside the box. If you've been treating that foot with nystatin creams and tough actin tenactin and everything you can to throw at it, for long periods of time and the fungus hasn't gone away, it's time to consider other causes. Maybe you have a blood sugar issue and or venous insufficiency or some other sort of circulatory issue. If you find the, the, that cause and address that or those causes, then maybe the fungus goes away. And if you take action, the fungus goes away, there's your proof. So if you have Foot fungus in both feet are one, but especially one that won't go away. It's probably a circulatory and or blood sugar dysregulatory issue that you need to get on top of. And by doing that, it may clear up the foot fungus. And even more importantly, it's making you systemically healthier because you don't want to have long-term circulatory issues or long-term blood sugar issues.